hey, hey, hey. It is time to make one of the favorite candies of the holiday season, Seafoam White Divinity Candy. Now we're gonna start off by putting two egg whites in a mixture bowl. And I've got my whisk attachment and I'm gonna add just a pinch of salt. Now a pinch is less than an eighth of a teaspoon. So just a pinch and we're going to whisk this up and start it on high and just get them going till they're about stiff peaks. It only takes about a minute and a half, two minutes. And then we're gonna cut it off and put our attention to the sugar. But make sure now you put the whisk back on it because we're gonna need it later a whole lot. And in a medium saucepan, we're going to put three cups of sugar in there. And then we're going to add a half a cup of light Cairo syrup, which is corn syrup. And then a half a cup of water. And we're going to get that on high heat and get it to a boil in just a few minutes. There's the half a cup of water. And you want to just gently mix it together and try not to get a whole lot on the sides and uh, just combine it. And then you're gonna have it on high heat and when it looks like that, stop stirring it. And we're gonna bring it up to a bowl. Now once at a bowl, you want to go ahead and add the candy thermometer and we're going to watch it carefully because we're gonna want it to cook to 252 degrees. And once it's set 252, we're gonna take it out and add it to our egg whites. So get the mixer going again on low. Now gently, while it's on low, you're going to pour a steady, slow stream of the hot sugar mixture into the egg whites. And it's gonna increase in volume a whole lot to start with. And then it's gonna fall a little bit and that's gonna be okay. But once we get it all in there, we're gonna crank it up to about a level eight um, and let it go. Now it's gonna take a total of five minutes probably to get it to where we need it to go. But y'all can see when I stop to scrape the sides down, it's dripping. It's just pure hot liquid right now. Now, I'm going to stop about a minute and a half later and pull it up. And do you see it's starting to form a ribbon? That's called a ribbon. But it's not there yet. It's not going to form candy. So we're going to go ahead and mix it again for another minute. Now we're on minute three. And we're going to stop it and see what's going on with it now. It's a little bit thicker. It's holding on to itself a little bit more. That that made four minutes. So we're gonna do it one more minute and look what happens here. Look at those ribbons in the, look, it ain't going nowhere. It's time to add those pecans. It's time to add that vanilla. We're gonna add one cup of chopped pecans and a half a teaspoon of vanilla. And we're not even going to blend it a whole minute. We're just going to combine it about 20 seconds, even, even if that. Uh, and we're going to take it off that mixer and put it down with using two spoons on parchment paper. And time is ticking because it's going to set up quickly. First, I'm going to take what I can off of the whisk. And you're not going to be able to get everything off, and that's fine. You want to go ahead and push everything kind of down to the center where it's still warm and it keeps it pliable. Now I'm using two teaspoons. I'm going to get about a teaspoon full in the bowl of one spoon and push it off with the other spoon. And this is a good method to really form the little pretty candies um, into individual servings. Scrape down the sides as you go and make sure you're mounding it up in the center that keeps the heat and keeps it pliable because the ones on the edge you can see are cooling and already uh, setting up and then you'll have the mound of warm candy that you can still go back to spooning on the parchment paper and this will work if probably you can get it out within five or ten minutes and uh, so just work quickly and at the end if you have a little bit left then you get to try it and I certainly wouldn't turn that down. Yum, yum, the spoils of hard work. And there you have it, a batch of beautiful, delicious sea foam. The one on the left, I used extra vanilla and extra pecans. The one on the right is the traditional method. It's delicious. People love getting it as gifts. And if you've got little pieces, that's extra you can sample for quality control, of course. Y'all have a very Merry Christmas. God bless you. Happy New Year.
Thank you.